Joining me now is Congressman Gus Villarakis. We're talking today about the health care reform bill up for debate in the House today. Thanks for joining us, Congressman. Oh, my pleasure. Anytime. Now, I know you don't support the bill, so what don't you like about it? I do it? not. Well, it's, uh, it's, it costs too much, $1.3 trillion. It's going to cut $500 billion out of Medicare. Uh, the Medicare Advantage program, which is a wonderful program, we have 50,000 seniors in my congressional district who are on the program. They love the program because of the choices. It's eliminating those choices. It could deplete the program, $150 billion cut. So I just don't like it. I don't like government takeover of health care, and uh, we just can't afford it. So what do you think should be different about the current proposal? What I'd like to do is start off with cutting the costs. I've talked to my constituents about this issue, and they said, Gus, we ha a lot of us do have health insurance, but it's too expensive, it's too costly, so let's cut the costs. And that's what our, our, our alternative, our Republican alternative does. And we do that but with tort reform, medical liability form, reform. That'll cut a lot of the costs. Uh, you know, these expensive tests, which, which doctors are forced to order because they're afraid they're going to get sued a lot of times. Well, that'll cut at least $55 billion over 10 years out of the cost. That, therefore, will reduce the premiums. And uh, we have a CBO score that says that it will reduce the premiums by 10% over 10 years. We also need to purchase health insurance, be allowed to purchase health insurance insurance across state lines and that will give foster opportunity empower the individual and uh, that will create uh, uh, competition and definitely reduce the cost. Health care savings accounts are very good. We need to expand them as well and we need to allow businesses to pull together and uh, that will reduce the cost as well. So let's focus on the cost. Our bill does not raise taxes. Their bill actually raises taxes by $729 billion, including a wheelchair tax and a hearing aid tax. That's unacceptable to me. Okay, Congressman, thank you so much for taking the time to join us today. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.